What's up, guys? It's Leandre M Savage back with another video. And today we are doing a product review on the 100% cold pressed rose hip seed oil. That was ridiculously long for so many reasons. But anyway, it is by The Ordinary, as you see right here. So I got this product because I heard a lot of great things about it. I did a week review on it. So at first I put it on in the morning and at night. Then I started looking into it and it kind of just, it kind of just felt like an extra step that was just a little just unnecessary until I looked into it and realized that I was doing it the wrong way. This is your last stepper right here. <laughs> last stepper, big stepper, okay? This is your last stepper right here. I was putting this, I don't know what I was doing, but I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing, and that's why I'm making this video. So this is supposed to help aging, even your complexion, and add moisture to your face and seal in the moisture. Now, it does that if you do it the right way. So you're supposed to do everything first. I'm talking about toner, serums, eye creams, moisturizer. Then you put the rosehip seed oil on it. Don't do it no other way. Basically, this is just supposed to lock in and basically create a barrier over the skin so that your products can do what they're doing without being worried about things like attacking them and coming into the skin. Now, it does help nourish the skin wall because it has natural vitamin A in it and it helps against photo aging. Um, it doesn't really have a smell. Like, honestly, I didn't even smell it. Let me smell it. Yeah, it didn't really have a smell because I didn't notice it until like afterwards, like, yeah, this doesn't smell like nothing. Now, I will say it's not oily. I got some on my hand. It's not oily like you think. It's not like, it's really light as an oil. And you can put this stuff on everything. At first, I really didn't like it. At first, I was never going to use it again. But now I know that I know how to use it. It makes everything work way better. I put my sunscreen on after I put that on. That way, it's like, a cement wall, steel wall, you know, animantium, vibranium, all of that. You can't get through. None of that. Um, also, somebody said use it once a day, but, and not to use it in the daytime because the retinols in it don't do well with the sun because we know retinol and sun does not do well. So what they said to do instead was to mix it with your moisturizer a little bit and then blend it and then do it that way. But then again, I still wouldn't see how that makes a big difference anyway because it's still the same thing. You get what I'm saying? But moving on, I mean, let the people tell you what they got to say and we'll see what they do at the end. Now, I got this product for like, I think it was $7.50 or $9.20. 750 or 920. Anyway, I'm gonna list it with the link below or put it up here somewhere and tell you how much it was, but it wasn't more than ten dollars, literally. I got this and the mask at the same time, and I didn't spend more than eighteen dollars, seventeen dollars. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure this out. Now it does stain, so do not get this everywhere. And it's like a yellow. Let me show you. It looks like gold. It looks like gold. But if you, when I use it in the dropper like this, if you see, you see, it's not really oily, oily, like a thick oil that's going to make you greasy. It's an oily that's kind of like a sealant. Now, I will say if you have oily skin, they say don't use this but use the Ordinary's Marula Oil instead because that won't add to those oil producers that produce all that oil all over your skin and give you that glossy shine. This is gonna give you that nice, like, 
sealed like foundation type of look but anyway check out this product it's definitely worth it if you use it the right way i will leave a link below so that y'all can see how much it is and where to get it um but in, other than that i love you guys thank you for keep coming back Just like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all next week